710 ESPN Seattle presents Bob and Graz's One More Thing. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Not R2-D2. No, it's not R2-D2. It's, it's, not, it's RG3. So we had Marcellus Wiley, who we frequently have on the show. And by the way, you can listen to our podcast, and I'm sure Marcellus is on there. And we encourage you to do it right here at, uh, at the home of everything Bob and Gross. 710sports.com. He talked about um, Robert Griffith III of Baylor. Griffin. Uh, Robert Griffin III of Baylor. <laughs> are you kidding me, man? Are you gonna, I mean, you gonna, uh, are you gonna mess up his name? On you that just, little bit of a thing. I mean, that could have could have gotten past everyone. Griffin could have been the old man is slurring his words again. He's draws drunk for this. I want people to know you're sober. Robert Griffin the third, R G three, not R two D two. Yeah. Uh, Marcellus said that if it were up to him, and he's the understanding the NFL's a no chance league, so he don't think this would happen. But if he was the guy in there with the first pick, he would take. RG3 with the first pick of the draft. That's the caliber of quarterback, apparently, we're going to see on Thursday. Yeah, and we were talking about it on the show. What's the what's the knock on him? What are people saying about him? Why wouldn't you go after him? And it, the only thing I really hear is his size. Which is, um, yeah, I mean, he, he's right? not six foot four, uh, And that's really the criticism of him. He's 6'2". He's not tiny. He runs real well, but he's not big and physical necessarily. Yeah. But this is not a guy. I mean, this is a guy who's thrown for... Uh, well, Baylor offensively has produced 500 yards in almost all of their games, except for one or two, I think. This is a guy, you remember, if you watched the Oklahoma game, you know, made that incredible pass at the end of the game to win. And he's got a rifle arm, so that's not the issue. He's got an accurate arm, more importantly. Certainly, if you've heard him talk or anything like that, there's no question about leadership skills and stuff like that. He, he seems to have all of that. Uh, confidence, well, you know, well, I, I mean, on the non-football playing side, there's no weakness. No. No no, no issues off the field, no problems or anything that, that, that we're aware of. None, nothing I can think of. So if you're the Seahawks, do you trade up to get him? You know, that's a really interesting question because how, how he's going to be perceived it becomes the question. A, I think we believe no matter what happens, he's going to have a big game against the Huskies in the Alamo Against Bowl. that defense? A big game. Really? A huge, yes, a 500-yard game. That's going to look good. But I think we found out last year that what matters is what you do at the combine. Yeah. Now, he will still be smallish at the combine. Well, he said, I think it was, he might have been on with Kevin Calabro, that he said, standing barefoot, he was 6'2". And he thinks, if anything, he's taller than that now, because that was his sophomore year or whatever when they did that. So he potentially will be taller. If they measure him that way and he's that tall, then you've taken the last issue out of him. Yeah, because we know he can throw the ball. We know he can throw it with accuracy. He can throw it deep. He can run. He's got all those intangibles. I would imagine he'd ace the Wonderlick test. Yep. And I would imagine he would dazzle in interviews because he does have a great personality. Rifle arm, like you said. I mean, the most important pass to throw in the combines, is like the 21-yard out. He should be able to throw it all day. He goes number two. What would you trade to get him? That becomes the question if you're the Seahawks. Would you okay. trade to get him? Yeah. Yes, I would. Yes, I would, because they need a quarterback, as I think we've established. He would look awfully good in Seahawks. What is their color? Whatever it is. Their own weird blue-green color. <laughs> we'll call it blue-green. It's their, It actually is their own shade of color. It is. That's their why own. I was That's racking why. my brain. It's, Just go with blue-green. Yeah, blue-green it is. <laughs> <laughs>